Welcome back. Now, if you constantly suffer from headaches, bloating, even fatigue, then this next story is likely to be a huge help. It's about a test that can identify whether your body's struggling to handle an ingredient found in everyday foods. Now, gluten's well known as a problem protein, but as Paul Macon reports, many people still aren't sure whether that's what's causing them all the trouble. It was like some horrible, toxic, nasty poison. Some people are very intolerant. Other people can eat it with impunity. Not my friend, not, not uh, for the rest of my lifetime anyway. It can make you awfully sick and in some cases be fatal. I had no idea what it was, but never, never, didn't even cross my mind. The bad guy is gluten. Gluten is a protein that's found in certain grains, like wheat, rye, barley, oats, spelt and camet. And it's in so many processed foods we eat every day, the trick is to know if you and it get along. Because if you don't, watch out. Chronic fatigue and aches and pains all through my body. I thought I must have had arthritis in, in virtually every joint in my body. I just felt lethargic, tired, um, unmotivated. I was experiencing basically a sore stomach, feeling tired all the time, just a general feeling of being unwell, congested, bloated. All of these Adelaide people found gluten was not their friend. And it mightn't be your friend either. There's so many undiagnosed gluten intolerant people out there who are suffering with autoimmune diseases, who could be so much better by giving up gluten. And they don't even know it's gluten. They don't even suspect it's gluten. MD and successful author Dr Sandra Cabot is leading the charge to enlighten people about the effects of gluten on the immune system and what that triggers. Your immune system could attack your joints and you could get rheumatoid arthritis or it could attack your skin and you could get psoriasis. You could attack your kidneys and you could get nephritis. So your immune system can attack any part of your body, even your brain, causing multiple sclerosis. I didn't see how such a small food additive could make such a huge difference. Rachel O was experiencing severe stomach pain and was a very unwell girl. Although she is not gluten intolerant, the gluten was causing the problems. It's just such a small food additive and I just didn't see how that could possibly make such a huge difference to the intense symptoms that I was having. But after a naturopath got her onto a gluten-free diet, things turned around dramatically. It basically reversed all of my symptoms. I actually went overseas and stopped the gluten-free diet for three weeks. All the symptoms came back. Taking my patients off gluten, I've seen psoriasis completely go away, eczema. I've seen big improvements in arthritis, big improvements in thyroid disease. There were huge nutritional deficiencies. In the end, I was taking 30 vitamin supplements a day and I needed every one of them. Helen Hayes was constantly tired and suffering severe memory loss. Even convinced at one stage, she was suffering early onset dementia. But after a simple test carried out, Dr Cabot discovered gluten was the culprit. She pulled out a genetic test saying you have got predisposing genes for celiac disease. I'm pretty sure you're gluten intolerant. And Helen responded very quickly, you know, within several weeks actually. When I found out I was uh, gobsmacked and, well, what did I do? Instantly hit Google. Julian Taylor was a very sick and tired young man before his naturopath informed him he was a celiac. At the time, he was suffering a severe iron deficiency, the result of gluten robbing the body of nutrients. It's got rid of every part of gluten that they can find. And once you've done that, once I did that, which is about three or four weeks later, I realised I was still eating a few items that had gluten in them. Once I got rid of that, started coming good, felt great. I, I really actually did feel incredible. So much so, he could go back to running. <laughs> and working long hours at a city nightclub. And I tell you what, ever since I've been fit and been healthy, that's been so easy. And because you got off gluten? Because I got off gluten. So how do you know if you're gluten intolerant? Well, Dr Cabot recommends a genetic test. Called the genotype. Or you could try this. For some people, it's worth going on a gluten-free diet as a trial. 
thankfully, there's plenty of gluten-free food about now. Manufacturers are getting the message. It just requires a bit more imagination on your part. I like to prepare a whole week's worth of meals um, at home that are gluten-free that I can take to work each day. Gluten-free food means you're forced to actually have healthy food as well. And remember, if you're gluten intolerant, you're more likely to be overweight. Because in some people, it will disturb the metabolism in a way that they will store more fat. You know, that's very simply put. But yeah, some people will find that when they give up gluten, they definitely lose weight. Well, if you're keen on having that blood test, just see your GP. For more information, though, head straight to our website, todaytonightadelaide.com.au. But we'll be back with more of the program right after this.